is Hamed Babatunde, and uh, I'm a visual artist. I do a mix of abstract with uh, portrait painting. Excellent, and it looks like you're working on a piece right now. Yep. Uh, I'm assuming this might be a commission piece. Yep, it is. That's uh, right. It's amazing. The <laughs> recipients of this are, um, <laughs> already know they're going to be pleased because this is absolutely amazing. Yeah, thanks. That was... That's it, folks. He's working off. I'm assuming they sent you. This looks like a wedding yep. picture. That's right. Uh, no, I think uh, they're going to love this more than the picture. For <laughs> Amazing work. So your style is very unique. It seems like a, a blend of different techniques. Um, just give us a, a description of how you came to, to this style. Yeah, so uh, I have a mental Kofi's. Kofi's art uh, is painting based with a uh, Based off of colors, like you put colors together, create something from it. Mm -hmm. So before I started painting, I saw his painting and I saw one of another person's painting. They're like, this painting cannot be copied. It cannot be, ex if someone copied this, it cannot be exact, the same brush stroke. It can, I was like, how did they do this? Then I was like, no, I have to, <laughs> I have to try something. Yeah. And I have a few paintings that I started with like uh, like to practice to yeah. see what I can do, like what I did. I have, I wasn't impressed from the beginning. <laughs> well, as time goes on, I just started. I just I started studying color in a way. I go on Pinterest. I look more of Kofi's art, mm -hmm. and the other guy that lives in Mexico. I look more of his art and see what colors they put together and make sense. Because if I I feel like if I put green and red together in the same box. Mm -hmm then won't go so i had i just had to study colors i just had to know what go with what yeah then i started incorporating it into portraits into your style that's yeah. amazing that yeah, kofi stuff is uh, is definitely amazing i'm, I'm gonna yeah. hook up with him pretty <laughs> soon um, but that that's interesting I, I like how you're using uh, you're you're getting influence from someone else, but then you're taking it a step further. Exactly. So yeah, this 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 is great because I think I did see like the progression in your work. Uh, I'm new um, to your work because I saw it uh, through Instagram. Yeah. And uh, like I was mentioning to you before, as soon as I saw it, I was like, who's who's this? And are they in Toronto? Because I I wanna I wanna talk to this guy. I wanna see this guy's stuff up close. <laughs> And thankfully, you are. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Um, are you originally from Toronto? Like, what's the background? Story? Yeah, my background is uh, I moved to Toronto five years ago from my country, Nigeria, oh, okay. from back home. So I've been in Toronto for five years now. Excellent, excellent. So I've been, yep, I'm I, a Nigerian that lives in Toronto. Okay, that's a, <clears throat> excuse me, that's a lot. So far, I think you might be the third Nigerian I've interviewed so far. So what is in the water? We gotta go. I guess that's where we gotta go because, wow. Uh, I th I'm, I'm pretty sure you're the third Nigerian. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and I have a couple more that, I'm, that I would like to connect and I think they're also yeah, from Nigeria. Nigeria. Uh, so is there a big art community? Um, well, there or is it like appreciated? Because I think I spoke to one person uh, who's from Nigeria, and they they said there it, there's a there's a lot of people that are creative, clearly, a lot, yeah. but the community to foster the art might not be there yet. Maybe it's maybe it's something on its way. Yeah, yeah, that, the person's right. Uh, there's a lot of people with talents back home, but uh, if it's not music, it's not. It's not something people appreciate back home. Oh, okay. You see some people saying, if I give them like maybe price, like back home, I'm saying, let's say I wasn't back home and I'm doing this, mm -hmm. and I'm giving their price, they'll be like, just for art, just for painting. Just for this? Oh, just for this? Appreciate it. Exactly. Yeah, so okay. it's not as appreciative as it is here yeah. in this part of the world. So yeah, but I think it's coming up now, because lately that I've seen, I've seen a few Nigerian uh, news, mm -hmm. news, and um, they, they're, showing their people's work okay they're so like they're promoting it they're promoting it now so yeah it's getting on a bigger scale exactly that's yeah that's really good yeah yeah that's they, good they need uh 
they need that support, you know? They need it, yeah, back home. Yeah, because <laughs> once it. they appreciate it, then other people, it draws other people in. To, yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. So well, that, that's, I don't know, I gotta drink some <laughs> water, because clearly it's, uh, it fosters the talent in there. Yeah, well, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just a country. <laughs> Yeah, and so the people sometimes it's, it, uh, the culture can, the culture can, too. can create the atmosphere for artists, for to, artists. to be, to emerge. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. That's amazing. And that, that's cool um, that you're, you have a mentor who's here, uh, Kofi. What is it like uh, here? What do you find the community here? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you were in, you were participating or participated yeah. last year in the Trap art. Trap art, yeah. So that that's a, a lot of people uh, use that event to kind of get their name. Exactly. Out there. And unfortunately, because of COVID, we couldn't do the second one. Do it because I even applied for the second one. You applied. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's uh, one of the mishaps with yeah, COVID. Exactly. It was a it was a good event actually. It was that was my fir uh, my very first uh showcase event that i actually okay, okay. took my walk to and showcase it i was a little bit nervous <laughs> yeah i mean if it's your first time <laughs> yeah because i was like oh uh, am i gonna be like a fly in the middle of like <laughs> giant people yeah. i was like let me just give it a try and i went there and it was amazing like it was i didn't expect it like People message after, people following, a lot of oh, followers. Okay. Yeah, after, so I was like, it, it oh. kind of got your name out there. Like exactly, that. like I wanted to, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go the second time and COVID ruined. COVID, yeah. COVID happened. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Crazy. This com uh, yeah, community around here, they really appreciate it. I even went to another uh, showcase, uh, Barry. In Barry? Barry, yeah. Okay, yeah. Two or three weeks ago. Oh, okay, so recently. Recently. Oh, okay. Uh, well, well, do you remember the name of that one? <laughs> Uh, the name is uh, the name of the person is uh, Art Nations. Art Nation, okay. Yeah, Shan Quartz. It was their very first art showcase as well. Okay. Their very first one, and I hope they're gonna come for the next one. Okay, yeah. that's good. Yeah. It's good that uh, there's some groups that are still trying to to put the work out there. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it's helping a lot of people. So, I don't. Sorry, go ahead. I said I even met a lot of uh, fellow artists that I. No, mm -hmm. uh, Barry as well that day. Okay. So they kind of reach out. Was that the first time you're meeting them in person, kind of thing, or? Sec let's, yeah, let's just say first time, for a second time. So the community is, it travels. It yeah, it travels. <laughs> it doesn't just stay in Barry. It exactly, travels. it travels. <laughs> yeah. So you kind of, we're kind of touching on it now. Uh, how has COVID, other than lack of events, but how has COVID uh, either helped or hindered the process of your art? Actually, it, it, it helped it, mm -hmm. with my art, yeah. It gave me more time to actually look more into what, um, what I can do to improve my paintings and what I can do to improve my marketing skills because I think I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough. I mean, you're actually creating the work, so you don't always have time to go on Instagram exactly. uh, or even pay for like sponsored ads exactly. and that kind of thing. It, exactly. It's definitely tough. So I'm working on that to improve my skill on marketing and to put my work out there more. Yeah. So it's giving me time to think a lot about that. Yeah, kind of get yeah. the groundwork for exactly. what you want to do next. That, that's exactly, yeah. yeah. That's exactly, amazing. yeah. It means you're not, you're not just chilling out. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's work to be done. There's work to be done. Work, working. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Definitely, if you need help, I, I have small resources, but I'll use them because, like I said, when I saw uh, these pieces, I was like, oh, yeah. that's amazing. <laughs> Thanks, Ross. That is amazing. Yeah, yeah COVID, COVID it. is a funny beast. It, it's uh, just. <clears throat> It just messed everything up. Yeah, it messed everything up, but then it also put things it's, in perspective. Yeah, that too. So it's given you a, uh, some time to maybe just look uh, on what your next, yeah. your next steps are. Yeah, that actually, yeah. Yeah, it's not good, but I guess.